I am Anil Kumar sharing with you few questions on circle theorem. We'll begin by defining a set of rules. Rule numbers which I am giving here may not be exactly similar to what you have in your textbooks. Since my videos are on YouTube and uh, they are being watched in many different countries, all follow different standards. Rule 1a is perpendicular bisector of a chord pass through the center of the circle. Now this is a very important rule which I have included in my set and is not commonly seen but is well known. And based on this we will answer the question 1 which is given chord AB of length 16 cm in a circle with radius 10 cm find the shortest distance of the chord from the center. You can actually pause the video, answer this question. And then we'll define another related rule with rule 1a, right? So that's how we are going to develop our set of rules which will help you answer effectively many questions on circle theorem. Okay, so let's understand this particular rule. It says perpendicular bisector of a chord pass through the center of the circle. It really means that if I have a chord, chord as you know is a line joining two points on the circumference of a circle, right? So that's the chord. Let me call this chord as AB. Then perpendicular bisector is a line which goes through the center of segment AB and is perpendicular, right? It's kind of like this. That becomes the perpendicular bisector. Now what we are saying here is perpendicular bisector of a chord pass through the center of the circle. So it will go through the center of the circle. Now at times we use this property to take any two chords on a circle. So if I take another chord here for example and if I find perpendicular bisector of this chord, let's say this is the center and the line which goes through the center is kind of like this. These are perpendicular bisectors means these two sides are equal. They will meet at the center of the circle. Why? So that becomes the center. Let me call the center as O. Then we'll refer this circle as circle O, right? That's the nomenclature. Is that okay? Now all these figures which I am giving you are not to the scale. Remember that and many times in your test paper also figures will not be to the scale. So we'll take that as default while answering questions on circle theorem. Okay. So please don't measure the angles and write your result. Right? Okay. Now from here we see that perpendicular bisector of the chord pass through the center also helps us to find the center by sketching two chords and then using perpendicular bisectors, right? Now, let's look into this question here. It says, given chord AB of length 16 cm in a circle with radius 10 cm, find the shortest distance of the chord from the center. So let's take a chord here. Let's say we are given the length of this chord as 16 centimeters. So this length is, is 16 centimeters. Radius is 10. So let's say that's the center. And if I connect this center with the two end points of the chord AB, let's say center is C for me. If I connect it with AB, I get a kind of triangle, right? So we are given a chord of length 16 cm in a circle with radius 10. That means AC is 10, right? That is 10 for us. Find the shortest distance of the chord from the center. Now what is the shortest distance? If I drop a perpendicular from C to the chord, 
that will give me the shortest distance right let me call this point as d okay then cd is the shortest distance so shortest distance we have to find is the distance of the segment cd is it okay that becomes the shortest distance what we have learned here is that perpendicular this line is perpendicular to a b right so if the line is perpendicular goes to the center it will bisect a b right so these two sides a d and d b are equal because of this rule right since 16 is the total length half of it is 8 now what is c d equals to you're getting the point right so c d we can get from pythagorean theorem we know cd square should be equals to hypotenuse square which is cb square minus db square right so cd the shortest distance is equal to square root of what is cb radius 10 longest side that's the hypotenuse take away shorter side which is I mean 10 square, 8 square, right? And now we can calculate this using calculator. I've taken simple values, 164. If you take away, you get 36. And square root of 36 is 6. Correct? So that is how you can find the shortest distance of a car from the center. Do you get the idea? Now the question is, instead of sketching this chord here if i would have sketched it somewhere else for example here will there be a change in the value how much will this be the shortest distance to let's say pq which is also 16 centimeters what will this be let's say x so what we'll find here is that still the radius is same is it okay the radius is still same so the shortest distance is also same right so we call these as congruent chords this chord could be anywhere on this circle right i could have drawn it here how does it matter if the length is 16 centimeter the shortest distance will be six for this circle with radius of 10 centimeters. Do you understand? And that gives us a very important relation, which I'm mentioning here as rule 1b. Two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from center. So any two chords which are same distance from the center, they are congruent, right? They are exactly same perfect so so remember that perpendicular bisector of a chord will pass through the center and two chords are congruent if their distance from the center is same right so that is very important to understand and let's move forward with standard rules right so my numbers will differ since i've introduced this one right in the very beginning so don't worry about the numbers but worry about the concept i hope that helps you can always share and subscribe to my videos and feel free to post questions thank you and all the best